Did you hear that? Oh, that was a noise out of my throat just then. I did a drawing while well, as part of one of my units in uni. Uh, I did some drawing classes and stuff, so I thought I'd show off like what I did in my drawing class. Bear in mind, none of it's good. Like, it's, it's all pretty bad. Um, but that was sort of the point of the class and the activities was to make them fast and sloppy and not focus on details and making them excellent works of art and stuff. I just almost knocked my mug over, that's fine. Um, but yeah, like I thought I'd just share my stuff because why not? I genuinely have not looked at these since I did them like three weeks ago. Oh no, these are so bad. I can't believe I'm showing these to people. Um, so for our first class we did self-portraits, but the teacher made us put a mirror on, on a desk and look down at it and draw the self-portrait so it's from a really unflattering angle. And then we're done in like no longer than 10 minutes each with a different bunch of different mediums. So this was the first one. It's just with pencil and stuff. It's what I'm most comfortable with. You can see I caught the essence. The face shape is very off, but I was looking down so I got a bit of the double chin going on there. And, you know, the hair. <laughs> My hair was like very fluffy that day. That's not even like, it looked like an afro. It was, yeah. Anyway, moving on. Um, he then made us do that. He made us do some drawings, do a drawing of ourselves with our eyes closed. Hence why it looks like a two-year-old drew it. This is probably my favorite one of the portraits. Um, it was done with ink and the back of a paintbrush, like the plastic tip of it, not the actual brush part of it. You know, it's, it's pretty, it's actually pretty good. Like, look at that. And the last portrait was done with water paints, which I think this is pretty decent. I tried drawing glasses on it, but then gave up and so I ended up with these creepy demon eyes. Um, and the mouth is wonky, I just realized. Uh, so that's it for the portraits. In the second week of class, we got um, six objects and did still life with the objects. So we set them up in a format, in a format? No. We set the objects up and drew them. So there's my objects, you can see. We got a shoe, a compass, a key, Rubik's cube, a hat, and some headphones. In fact, it's this hat, see? This hat right here. I drew it. Oh, this picture was focusing on just the shadows and the placement and stuff. I was pretty happy with this, like it's, it's a picture. Um, and then we did some separate drawings of some chosen objects. So there's the key. I did a Rubik's cube with watercolors. It's pretty bad. And then we had to stick a bunch of paper together and draw the objects all together again like that. See? So I drew some of it in colour and some of it not in colour. This is pretty decent. I was happy with this. Like, it's not... I'm not hanging it up on my wall anytime soon, but you know better than a lot of the other drawings I did. <laughs> in our third week, we drew windows and the inside of the windows, the outside of the windows and stuff. It was quite a fun study. So I chose a nice little window in the corner of the classroom. I was quite happy with that drawing too. Just some, you can tell I favor pencils a lot, which is fine, like everyone favors something. Uh, and then I did that same window, but a close up of the top of it and added some watercolor right there. So you can tell it's the top of that window right there. Um, yeah, that's about all. I don't know the point of this. I thought it was fun to just show off the stuff and I'll probably keep doing it. Right now I'm doing um, painting in that unit, so I'll show off all my paintings when I finish them. Uh, yeah, that's about it for me and wash your hands.